How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How is that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Look out! Borrow this. Hey, you can't. I'm gonna tell on you. Well, great. Another one for the collection. Yeah. I will see you. Yeah! Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy.
They're locked. wants to talk to you, and you can't get in while the power is out anyways. I was gonna I watch TV, but so what the hell? Today. go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security suite.
gotta hit this. Jimmy.
This is gonna be fun. Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. That's how it's done. I love carbonated caffeine. 100% pure artificial flavor. Incredibly stupid. Can you just leave me alone?
What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. to do and I smell like meat. Grr! breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> All right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. They're locked. Don't worry, Russell will get it. That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. No! Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. No, you know what the worst not. part of being a... <laughs> what a dirty proletarian joke. I thought you... Don't you dare spill a drop of my blue blood. 
I'll beat you again.
Right in the face. You want old Russell to come back? Bunch of bitches. <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! Down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! Something for ya. If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Jimmy, all alone in big scary Bullworth, under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. Look out! <laughs> and once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, Using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all.
while you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the car. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy. Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can. Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great. But I never did anything to you. You would have if I'd given you the chance. Face it, I'm smarter than you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> You're smarter than me. You hate everyone, and everyone hates you. Genius! The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can take you, Hopkins! The whole thing, you're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. What a hero! A lone wolf! Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired! I hope he rots in hell! And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Okay, that was my walkthrough of no commentary of this game, just a little bit, and I didn't do every single mission to show you all guys, but I mean, I made it better and faster, and now we beat it, finally. Woohoo. Alright. Meet me.
I'm trying to see what uh trophies I how many trophies I have real quick. Anything going on? Hey! Hey, you. Hey! Hey there. I like to kid around hey sometimes, there. you know? Alright, that'll be it for this playthrough. I've had a fun time recording my playthrough on Bully. That was one uh, of the more foolish things you could have done. Yeah, so I hope you guys so we'll enjoyed this amazing funny. gameplay. I know oh, I'm please leave me alone! And now I'm trying to say a hundred times to people because I need that trophy, but you all right? Okay. What's up, man? All good? Hey, what's up? See you guys in the next what's one. What's new?